hello guys in this very short video i'm going to show you guys how to uh, create round corners for your graphs as well as smooth lines for your line graphs as well so this is the default setting if you create a graph here line graph in excel uh, you will see it's a it's got this uh, square uh, border and it has this crude looking line so you've got the option to change this so i'm just going to switch over to my next tab so what we're going to accomplish is give it round border so you can see it's not a square anymore and it's got this nice smooth looking line that makes your uh, graphs look a little bit more sleek so let without further ado let's get started but first of all hit that like button hit this little subscribe button just here down below and hit that bell notification so I can update you guys if I upload any more content. So let's jump into this one. I'm just going to start off a new sheet here. And I'm going to start us off from scratch as always so that we can follow along. Alright, so let's say here in, let's say B2, we've got our date here. And in C2, we've got our sales. So we're just tracking some sales in this file today. So let's say we've got Jan here. So January and excel is smart enough to pick it up if you drag this little handle down to let's say pick it up up until uh, december year there we go 100 percent. and let's say for sales we're going to put some random dates so let's put in 110 year and yeah let's go for 150 let's go down a little bit 92 uh, 114 uh, let's go for 200 203 any random data guys that we need to put in so let's put for 95 80 let's say dipped and then we picked it up here in the festive season we got a little bit more sales okay so we've got a random data so let's just uh, place it here in the middle so you can highlight both columns uh, click on center here in the alignment tab so it just looks nice and you can also just as an editor create a little uh, table uh, you highlight your data hit control T and you it will ask you if you have headers you just say okay this just puts it a little bit extra functionality so if you want to you can add a total row here so it does an auto sum here or you can also click on it and there's a little drop down where you can put in a average or a count it will count 12 so it's just a nice little added bonus for you guys but let's go for that graph that we want so I'm just going to highlight column A, holding control and highlight column D, right click. I just want to change the column width to a, let's say a three, and then we're going to put in our graph here. So you highlight all the data up until December, go to insert, and we're going to insert a line graph. So there's our line, very crude line here that we've got. I'm just going to place it here for our video purpose, a nice aligned here up until K. There we go. So you can see from Jan up until Feb and there's our data. This is the default setting and the border is very, if I zoom in, it's it's a little bit gray. If you can see, I'm just going to zoom out again. And so what we can do is we're going to go to, you can highlight your graph here. Just highlight the graph and you can go to format. And here we can give the shape a line. So I'm just going to click on the automatic blue and it will give this blue border. But it's a little bit too small for me so i'm just going to click on the highlight the graph again go to shape outline and here in weight uh, we can choose let's say a one and a half and it just makes this border a little bit bigger but still we've got this square looking border so what i'm going to do is we're going to change it now first of all we're going to click on view and click on grid line so that takes away those uh, awful looking grid lines in the background so now that's empty all right guys i'm just you're going to double click your graph and your format chart area will pop up here on the right hand side i'm just going to shift my camera here that we can see what options we get and as you can see as i highlighted my i'm just going to re-highlight my graph here and you'll see here in the chart uh, options in border you're going to scroll down and you're going to click here's rounded corners so you're just going to tick it on and as easy as that you've got your round border here same with the line graph you're going to click on your line graph and you're going to click on this little fill button here on the right hand side 
you make sure you're on the line and there should be a little tick box here, smooth line that you can tick on and this will smooth out your data. I'm just going to put my camera back where it belongs and as you can see guys, we can see we've got a nice square rounded corners here and a nice smooth line and this makes your grass look a little bit more sleek and beautiful. Guys, I hope you like this very short video. As always, hit that like button, hit this little subscribe button just below and hit that bell notification outro. Here we go.